Ooh, Nintendo ain't playing. And another Metroid game? That's right. What's up? Come All on, right. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope 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 nintendo switch news before we get started the giveaway is happening i'm giving away a nintendo switch oled to a lucky subscriber subscribe to this channel on youtube follow me on twitter you're in the giveaway all right we have some epic news nintendo is exposing companies bro Nintendo's like, we've had it. We've had companies lying on our names. Nintendo pulled the bird, man. Put respect on my name, bro. They responded to a Bloomberg report. Bloomberg had reported in July, on July 15th, four days ago, that Nintendo is making a huge amount of more profit on the Switch OLED, only costing the company only $10 more to make the console but charging fans fifty dollars more for this when nintendo said we ain't having that the nintendo official japan uh, um twitter account they responded and this is what nintendo said about the bloomberg report a news report on july 15th claimed that the profit margin of the nintendo switch oled model would increase compared to the nintendo switch to ensure correct understanding among our investors and customers, we want to make clear that claim is incorrect. They're going to say more, but first let's talk about this. They're saying Bloomberg is a bunch of liars. Bro, Bloomberg, bro, y'all used to be reputable um, when they used to make reports. They had the report about the Switch Pro 4K Switch coming out this year. That didn't happen. Now they're falsely saying Nintendo is marking up the system overcharging customers. Now, this would be actually good for investors that Nintendo's making more for profit. Oh, it's only costing them um, $10 more to make this, but charging customers 50, investors would be happy. But Nintendo's like, hold on, we ain't ripping off our fans like that. <laughs> and so um, Nintendo's pretty much saying that the $50 markup is warranted, but they still need to make a profit too. Um, they didn't say how much more it costs. I'll probably say about twenty, probably thirty dollars for everything. New sixty-four gigabyte, um, double the memory, better screen. And when you order things in bulk, companies the markdown price is crazy. And so that's what they said. And Nintendo cannot legally lie to their investors, meaning this report is accurate. What Nintendo is saying about Bloomberg calling out Bloomberg, bro, exposed. All right, and not only that, Nintendo also talked about when they plan on releasing another Switch because as soon as this was announced, everybody was like, where's the Switch Pro? Where's the Switch Pro, bro? We got the Steam Deck, where's the Pro? This is what Nintendo says. We also want to clarify that we just announced the Nintendo Switch OLED model will launch in October 2021 and have no plans for launching any other models at this time. This is true and not true at the same time. It's true that Nintendo, they, that they're not launching any other consoles at the time. They're just going to be launching the Switch OLED. And they cannot say, we got a more powerful Switch coming, don't worry. They can't say that. Or else no one would buy the Switch OLED. And so, yes, they don't have anything planned for 2021. I really think from the deep down bottom of my heart that a more powerful Switch will be coming in 2022. But of course, Nintendo cannot say a ting, boy. Bro, this next news item. Where are my Metroid fans at, bro? Where are my Metroid boys at, bro? Bro, Metroid Prime Trilogy Remastered. 
That's right, a remastered version of Metroid Prime Trilogy is in the works, according to Jeff Grubb from VentureBeat. Now, he is a reliable source. He's been right in the past. This is what he says. This is coming from IGN India. I think Metroid Prime Trilogy is done, and whether or not Nintendo releases it now or later depends on other factors, said Grubb. I think that the game is sitting in their pockets for whenever Nintendo decides it's the right time. And Nintendo's done this a lot recently, so it's not unusual. It's not a sign of some bad thing happening. It's not a sign of lack of faith in Metroid. Nintendo can afford to sit on it, and that's how they're treating it. Makes perfect sense. This would be the perfect appetizer before Metroid Prime 4. Whenever Metroid Prime 4 is about to launch, probably six months before that, or half a year or a couple months before that, launch the Metroid Prime Trilogy to give fans a taste of the game. I tell you this, when Metroid Dread was announced, you know how many people I saw on the internet going back playing older Metroid games to try to get a taste of these 2D Metroid games. I think the same thing would happen with Metroid um, Trilogy. So Nintendo knows what they're doing. And this game has already, it's been done on the a Wii. All they had to do is upscale it to HD, add um, some quality of life measures to the game and release it, which is probably already done. They're just sitting on it. I played me some Metroid Prime, bro. Hey. My favorite Metro game of all time, number one, Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo, number two, the first Metroid Prime. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things Nintendo. We out, boy.